hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Um, I thought I would today uh, just give you a quick breakdown on how I create the backgrounds for my needle fel felted pieces such as this one here. So obviously it's got a background and then I have needle felted and embroidered into it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a croaky voice today for some strange reason. And little pieces I use for my cards, etc. Uh, so what I've done, the first thing that you're going to need is, is a backing to needle felt into. Now you can do this one of a few ways. The first way is to get yourself a piece of felt, a felt rectangle I've got here. Um, this is um, a blend of wool felt and rayon, so it's a mixture. And um, that's also quite a nice background to work on. Um, it's quite stable so that you can just work into that. You could also use um, some, some batting some, um, or pre-felt that you could felt into. That's a little less stable, but it depends what kind of result you're looking for. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is some wool. This is my little wool scrap bag, so I'm just going to work from here in a minute. I keep all my bits of wool when I've been working on a project. I've put, got them in this box here, so I kind of keep those on hand uh, for most times. Let me move this further in. Um, so the other things are going to need needle felting tools. Um, there are two one two main ones that I use for doing backgrounds. Uh, the first one is this um, tool by Clover. It's got a little lock on it there. Oh, yeah, make sure <laughs> make sure that the lock is on and off. So yeah, that's that way it's locked. So the needles are protected. Turn it off, and then your needles are available. This one holds five needles. I don't know if you can see that got five needles inside there. Let's put the lock back on that one. And this one is a pen tool which has three needles in it and is also very handy um, for when you are doing your backgrounds because obviously you can do a much larger and faster area when you have more needles working on the piece that you're going to do. So first things first, uh, you would make a very decided choice on which um, colours you want to use for your background. I am super colourful, so I go for all the colours. <laughs> I do apologise as well if my uh, camera wobbles slightly. It's on my desk and um, when I move, <laughs> which is not ideal, is it? It's not ideal, but we will try and go through this as best we can. So I am separating out a few fibres that I'm going to use on my background here. Just very gently pulling them apart. If you remember from previous videos, if you try and pull too hard, then um, the fibres will clench together and they won't move. They'll be like that. No, I'm not moving. So if you do it gently, then they come apart gently. So I'm going to lay down my first fibre there. Let me move this up a little bit so that you can see. So that's the first one I'm going to lay down. I might even put another bit of that in there as well. Oh, I've got a pipe cleaner attached to that. Oh, and now I've wobbled the camera again. <laughs> uh, do forgive. Thank you. Okay, so let's get this separated. A little bit there. You can do whatever you like. It is up to you. You can choose your own colours. You can go wherever the mood takes you. This is really relaxing. I find it a very relaxing thing to do because you you kind of, especially when you're doing backgrounds, it's just nice and therapeutic. And as I li like to remind people um, when, <laughs> when I'm talking to them, I have the patience to stab something over a thousand times. It kind of keeps people at a distance. <laughs> um, Joking, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a really good way to relax. Just having a look in my fibres here and finding unusual ones. This is kind of more coarse 
a coarse core wool but you know we're going to see what what kind of an effect we get you can see i'm just laying them out um you could lay them that way if you wanted to this is just the way i work so i'm just grabbing bits from my my box here let's see what we've got in there all kinds of stuff in here it's my little bit box um, she's getting a little bit depleted at the minute so i think i'll go back into some other colors that i use let's let's have a bit more of that core wool going on there you can see it's core wool uh it's got little bits of debris in it from when it's been carded you just take those out you can always pull them out when you've needled it in anyway got some more purpley colors somewhere do jump out at me piece of oh here we go that's nice let's have a bit of that so i'm just going to spread that out that seems to have been compacted i might have rolled that up for another use it's a good thing about this you can just use whatever you've got and even little tiny bits i save everything i am a wool womble i'm just going to put that back down there I've got enough to be going on with for the moment so let's pop that to one side and oh hello <laughs> everything happens on this desk and what i'm going to do now i have laid my didn't introduce this boy did i i've laid my piece of base felt onto this um felting mat it's a clover felting mat and it's the the i think there are two versions a small one and a large one this is the large one of the two so then my base felt piece has gone on the bottom obviously then i've laid my fibers on top so what we do now is we've got our tool our needle felting tool okay i'm locked so make sure it's unlocked and what we do now we stab <laughs> very relaxing when you are sitting at your desk as i am now um i'm mindful of the fact that i've just done a course on posture <laughs> um it's one of those courses that you do as part of your um work training but also very handy for everything that you do in your life and you have to consider your posture when you're sitting here in order to do this don't hunch over your work as i sometimes have a tendency to do look a little bit like uh, quasimodo sometimes if you could see me through my studio window which i'm hoping you can't because <laughs> that'd be a bit weird wouldn't it but hey my poor family have to put up with it so so you can see that the fibers are going down nice and easy very relaxing i don't have to think about things too much just making sure that i am felting down all the areas of the loose wool into the piece below I'm not sure that this sound is very relaxing. Some people might find it relaxing. It's repetitive. <laughs> you could easily do this with a singular needle as well. It would just take a longer time. This um, five needle boy does a really good job of speeding up the process as does this pen tool so again if you have only got this it's a clover one again so handily the needles and the the place where the needles end only come to the same depth as the brush mat that i have underneath this tool is handy when i start to add in different elements of felt on top um so say if i wanted to put another piece on top and make it into a circle as i've done on these so 
the, this tool or the singular tool, which is this one here. That's my singular needle in a little holder. You don't have to have a holder, but I'm I'm extra. <laughs> you can just hold the needle. It's just a little bit safer for my fingers to hold on to something like that. But yeah, so th that's handy for doing small details or, or for, in fact, our point of interest. You could add in another thinner line of um, either yarn. If you've got some wool yarn, you could add that in or just a thin sliver of your felt just to add in there. And that is when your singular needle or this pen tool come in handy. I'll pop the lid back on that before I stab my finger inadvertently. So you can see that this is all getting nicely felted down, giving you a really good base to work on. Okay, so I'll just put the safety on there. So we can see if I lift up this, you turn it over, you see all those fibres on the back. That's how you know that it's felted in. You can see all those fibres have made their way through to the back of your base felt. And it's all felted in. I can just see a little bit of debris that's managed to get itself in there. So I'll just pull that out so we can easily needle felt things back in. So that's really simple, isn't it? Just a really simple way to get a background for a felted piece, a flat felted piece. Um, I'm going to see where I've got gaps now. So I can see at the top here, I've got a little gap there that I'd like to fill in. So I'm going to grab some more of my wool. And kind of just lay it on top of where I want it to be. If you go over the edges of your, um, your base piece, it doesn't matter because you can do one of two things and I'll explain that in a minute. So, oh, <laughs> take the safety off. There we go. Oh, wrong bit that way. Taking off the safety. Back to jabby, stabby, stabby, stabby. <laughs> I'm going to do a course called Jabby, Jabby, Stabby, Stabby. The art of needle felting. <laughs> oh, I do like to amuse myself. Well, at least I amuse myself, even if I amuse no one else. So, making sure that you're going over the whole area. I'm just going to go back over the whole thing again, just because. And you see how quickly we've managed to build up a little piece of a background. And so this is just the beginning part, but it's a nice relaxing be beginning. And sometimes I sit and I will create a lot of backgrounds in one sitting. So I'll get a few of these squares and with the colour palette that I'm working with at the time, maybe I will just create a whole set of backgrounds, which gives me something to work with when I have a moment. You can see at the bottom there, I've got a little bit that's still loose. Again, there are one of two ways or one of three ways even that we can make this right. We can add some in, which I'm going to do now because I like to use the stabby tool. So we'll get that in there. You can see I've got some that's gone over the edge there. If you needle felt into that as well, it will felt to itself. Got a bit, bit of a gap there. So let's pull some more of this out. Lay it on top. Stabby, stabby, jabby, jabby. <laughs> and again, into this bit. And you can keep adding in as you go, as much as you like. You can go to town with it add little bits of yarn, whatever you like to. The process is the same whichever way you do this. Now, let me just put the safety on that. So two things you can do. 
you can either you could trim down the edge with, with a pair of scissors i've seen that that bit's not quite melted in so let's go back into that you could trim down the edges with a pair of scissors you could take the edges and fold them in and needle felt them in i sometimes find that makes my edges quite thick or if you're feeling footloose and fancy free you can just leave the edges as they are <laughs> and just have it as an extra decoration sometimes i've done that on pieces where i've left just the raw edge of the felt obviously you pull off anything that's gonna like come off on its own but bits like that you could just leave as a decoration that is a bit too long for my liking uh, a lot of my pieces if i pull this off by the way i put that back in my bit box because you never know when that's going to be handy so now i am just literally trimming off the edges pair of scissors your piece will be much neater than mine i will be working into this at another time anyway just to felt it down but just getting a base down and having these beautiful little pieces of jewel jewel like felt colors hanging around on your work desk i find that gives me inspiration to create things and, and so these small pieces of of work can be just mounted like i have done with this one on a piece of um backing canvas i have obviously worked into this it's got embroidery it's got wire pieces um it's got additional pieces of felt that have been put into it but it all came from a base like this one so um do have a go yourself let me know how you get on in the comments i'm going to leave you now because the sun has arrived at my desk <laughs> and it kind of makes me uh happy because the sun's there but it also makes it not so easy to see what i'm doing <laughs> so for this point i will now leave you uh go and enjoy um your day and your weekend or, or whatever it is you're doing this week and i will see you very soon where i will be doing a different technique um or continuing maybe with this one and showing you how i do adding in of different pieces into my flat felted pieces have a great day and take care and bye for now <laughs>